everybody, I'm Boaz Fader. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between November 30th and December 7th. So, first of all, happy holidays everybody and I want to thank you all this time. I want to begin by thanking you all for all the love and support that you've given me. I want to Thank everyone who wrote a message, a comment, or an SMS, who called me, or suggested a therapy session with him, or with her. Thank you all for being so supportive when I was the one needing support. So, as you know, we are in a very turbulent, transformative period in the sky that's going to last until March, and it's going to be at its peak in Jan January, on January at in second language after all so on january but as you also recall from my previous videos we are on a lunar cycle the last new moon was quite nice so this lunar cycle is supposed to be quite nice as well and there's a feeling like we could exhale and breathe in some light instead of strife it's a great time to actually relax and enjoy ourselves a little bit through this midweek and let's go and see how planetary transits in the sky are affecting us throughout these weekdays I want to start on Saturday the 30th of November is a conjunction between Venus the planet of love and relationship and beauty and harmony and satisfaction and the great goddess of the earth Ceres or Demeter as she is called by the Greeks, the goddess of the fruitfulness of the land, of flowers and fruits and grain and nature itself, the, the goddess of spring. And when these two come together, first of all, it's, they have a calming effect on all our relationships. They have a, a harmonizing effect on all our relationships. And we're better able to provide people in our relation, who, who we are in a relationship with, with value, and we can understand better the value that we gain by being in contact with others. Further, um, there is also a sextile between the planet of communication and navigation, Mercury, and the planet of career, karma, and maturation, Saturn. This can help us along um, business deals or taking uh, things of a legal matter ahead. It also makes us much more concise and much more logical in the way we communicate and navigate our lives. And that has a settling effect as well and a stabilizing effect as well. The moon is conjunct Pluto early morning Eastern European time on Saturday, but that passes along the day. So early morning, if you get some nightmares, if you get some nightmares, now you know where it came from. <laughs> but by 10-ish, it's going to be gone. Sunday, however, the 1st of December is a kind of a jumpy day. The moon is in Aquarius and it squares Uranus and Mars. So I would say be careful not to be too hasteful, not to be... Um, too reactive and put a little logic in and uh, the sun is going to sextile the moon so it could be a fun day from noontime onwards Monday the second is the day that Jupiter is entering the sign of Capricorn and it's going to be there until the end of December 2020 and along these 12.6 months well, to understand better the symbolism of Jupiter and Capricorn, we need to understand first Jupiter. And Jupiter is in charge over the widening of our consciousness, of the widening of our horizons, getting a better, higher understandings, understanding of things. In ancient astrology, it's been thought of as the great benefactor. And, and it would have brought plenty and, and heightening to everything that was positive. But today we understand it as a heightening effect, as an enlarging effect 
to anything, not only on the positive part of the spectrum, but if there are some negatives there, it could heighten them as well. So let's understand a minute what is Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and is a sign connected with career, maturation, um, taking up responsibility and living within our own laws because we've gained some life experience and we are now mature enough to stand up to the things we know are good for us. So in a way, <clears throat> um, it's a sign connected also with career, as I said, and it's a sign connected with karma. Things that we've neglected and we've acted unpositively with in the past can come and bite us up our asses. So what is Jupiter and Capricorn going to be like? Well, if you've been preparing yourself and you're now mature and ripe and ready, this could be a marvelous year in which your horizons do widen and you're able to see things from a much higher point of view and feel how you've matured and how responsibility has heightened in your life, personal responsibility. And because of it, your status has changed. That you're now no longer where you've been before. And that you've found out that your true freedom, Jupiter, is within your own rules. Capricorn. However, if you've been neglecting things and if you've been... Um, doing things that are not positive for you or for others, this could be a year that karma speaks big in your life. So let's just make it all-inclusive because most of us ha have both these facets within us. There's places we've neglected and there's places that we've done well with. And we need to understand that this is just a, a polarizing effect, okay? Things that have been malfunctioning are going to be put in our face and things that have been working correctly behind the scenes are going to come forward big time and hopefully scums of the earth that have been um, doing a lot of damage for the last few years are going to be you know uh, found guilty and finally things are going to change and people that have been the underdog are going to rise and you know i hope this happens within us within our own character as well because it is us that need to change and i'm, I'm going I'm, I, I found a new tattoo i want to make change myself change the world because that's the only way this world is going to change change yourself change the world and this song keeps coming out in my mind, this old Tracy Chapman song. Don't you know, talking about a revolution sounds like a whisper. Cause finally the tables are starting to turn. I'm talking about a revolution, yeah. Yes, finally the tables are starting to turn. So, what kind of revolution do you want to have in your life? Tuesday the 3rd, and ah, just one more word, important word about that Jupiter and Capricorn. It's entering Capricorn in an exact square to Chiron and Aries, the personal wound. And I want you to be very, I want to be very clear about it very clear if you are not addressing your own personal wound if you are not dressing it cleaning it healing it forget about enlightenment <laughs> forget about this going up a notch in your life okay forget about taking it up a level it is only by bravely dressing and healing our old wounds and actually going into a future which is different than the past was, that we can truly liberate ourselves and go stronger. It is part of it. 
Before enhancement can happen, liberation must occur. So, Tuesday the 3rd. Painted in green in the sky, Mercury is sextiling uh, Pluto. We can have intense, deep, transformative, psychological, sexual communications or dealing with our environment. Um, there's a very sensual, sexual, vibrant energy uh, with uh, Venus sextiling Mars that day as well. The moon sextiling uh, um, Jupiter and Uranus. Allow yourselves to step out of yourself that day and enjoy adventure. Tuesday, Wednesday, even Thursday are all painted in green in the sky. Have this vibrant energy. It's good for anything spiritual, creative, also for your work, taking uh, endeavors further in a very a soft and 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 alternative way that is out of the box that just lets things flow and 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 progresses them flawlessly and um, it's a very spiritual and 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 artistic effect and it goes on until thursday the fifth thursday night eastern european time is a good time to know to say when you know and don't overdo it and become behemoth become you know like bottom crawlers and overindulge ourselves this is would this would be a good time to know when to say enough is enough and to provide others with the opportunity to indulge themselves while we take up responsibility friday and saturday are more sensitive as on friday the moon is conjunct chiron so especially within the family, intimate surroundings, be careful because it is a sensitive day, uh, uh, de divide, uh, devoted to healing, okay, devoted to healing, but be careful not to hurt anyone else or yourselves. And Saturday, there's a lot of squares between the moon and Saturn and Pluto and Venus. So just watch your aggression, especially in relationships, watch out for being too judgmental. Anyway, this is about everything I had to say. Of course, I want to thank you for commenting and sharing these videos. They expose them to more people. And remember, if you want a consultation with me or you want to study with me from wherever you are around the world, just reach out. All my details are at the end of the slide. Thank you. And may we all live long and prosper. Bye-bye.